Hey there, everybody. Um, I'm creating this video to help guide you guys on setting up your own router with AT&T's modem. Um, I'm specifically using the Aries BGW210, um, and this is the newer interface, I believe, that AT&T has been using. Um, it might work on other AT&T modems. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't tried. Um, there's another person on YouTube by the name of Mike Moo that's had a video about this, but it's on an older AT&T interface, and so some of the users were having a hard time following along, so I created this video in hopes of... Um, helping you guys um i'll link a vi I'll, I'll link his video in the description so if you guys have the older interface you guys are able to follow it and get this set up um and all the information that i'm about to go through right now is available online and so i'm just basically taking it from words and putting it into video so it's a quick walkthrough and i hope you guys find it helpful um i'm personally again i'm using the bgw210 and i'm using an orby router it shouldn't matter what kind of router you're using so the first step you're going to want to do is access the actual modem um most ips from at&t i believe are 192.168.1.254 so go ahead and go here so once we're here we're going to want to turn off a few things um the first being the wi-fi so we're going to go to home network followed by wi-fi you're going to want to turn off everything over here, the home SSID, and if you have a guest SSID, you're going to want to turn that off. Um, and so once that's done, we're going to want to do a few things in the firewall, um, with the first being the packet filter. So packet filters here, you want to disable this. Your router will be handling this instead. Um, next, you're going to want to go to firewall advanced. So you're going to want to turn off all of these. By default, if I think a few of them are turned on, but you're going to want to turn them all off, save, and then we're going to go to IP pass through. So there's a couple allocation modes that you can use here, pass-through and then default server. Um, most people should be fine with pass-through. I'll link to a thread below in the description that kind of goes into more detail about these two different options. Um, and so once you select pass-through, you're going to want to select the pass-through mode and you're going to have dynamic or fixed. Um, I personally had issues with fixed, so I went with dynamic. Um, so if you're curious what the difference is, fixed is assigned to only one device that's plugged into the modem. Um, and so dynamic will assign to all devices that are plugged in. I personally have one ethernet port occupied on the modem and that's the router. And I recommend that you set it up like that as well. Um, so once you do that, you're gonna wanna put save. And then we're gonna wanna go to status. And so once you go to status, this is what you should have. Your packet filter should be off. Your IP path through should be the only thing that's on. Your net default server should be off and your firewall advanced mode should also, should also be off. Um, if you're curious about uh, DHCP, so if we go to home network right here, and then subnets that D and DHCP, um, whenever I turned off my DHCP so that my router can handle it, I had issues. Um, so I wasn't able to, to do that. So I left the DHCP on and I haven't had any issues personally, so I don't anticipate that you will either. Um, so once you have this, you should be good to go. Um, so like I said, I use Orbeez router and so 192.168.2.1. So one thing is I would recommend is that whatever subnet your modem is on, you should your, your router should be on another subnet. So for example, this is on 192.168.1.254. This should be 192.168.2. So the router will run on this two subnet and um, so will the entire network. So I hope this was helpful. If you guys have any questions, um, please feel free to comment and I'll try to uh, help as much as I can. Um, I hope this was helpful.